Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, I quickly want to go over the get record function, which just simply gets a record from one of our database tables within Xano. So for example, if I open my function stack and go to database request and do get record, I can choose whatever table I actually want to get a record from. So let me select user here. You'll notice when this function opens up on the right side, it says find user record by field. And we have field name here. And it's defaulted to ID because that's the very first uh, field in each of our database tables. But we can hit this drop down and choose any of the fields um, that Xano pulls from that database table to actually find a user record or find a record by. So let me leave it as ID for now. And then field value will be that actual value in that field that we want to find the record. So this is often dynamic. So I might uh, add an input here. Let's say a table reference to our user table. And if I go back into this get record and just map this field value to user ID, now I can start looking up user records by their ID. So I might type in run he one here, and we can see that's Michael. We might type in three, and we can see that's Kurt. Now, of course, uh, we can change this to anything, right? So we can look up a user by the name. Uh, the field value, however, we actually want to uh, reflect the same data type that's here in my field name so name is probably going to be a text field. So let me delete this user ID here and just write in something like uh, user name as my input. And if I come back to my get record, I would just need to make sure to remap that input. And now if I go ahead and look up something like Joe, we can see we'll get that record back. So typically the field value will either be an input or some uh, value that you're getting from your function stack in the form of a variable. Of course, you can also hard code that in. Real quick on the output tab, we can customize the response of the fields we're getting back. So we can pick and choose if we don't need everything back or we can return everything by unchecking customize response. And we can also do add-ons, which I won't go over, but it's a way to extend the data of a single API response from different data sources. Uh, one other point I will touch on real quick is oftentimes our endpoints will be requiring user authentication. And let me go ahead and save that. And if your, and if your table you're getting a record from is either your user table or references a user ID and you want to actually look up a record based on that, you can actually use the unique uh, ID that's in this auth token to do so. So for example, uh, this get record from user is a perfect example. If I want to find the user based on the ID, well, I can actually type in auth and do auth ID right there. And now when I run this, we'll see that there is a token passed through the header and we'll be able to find that specific user record. Uh, the last note that I'll add is the get record is sort of this shortcut function, which actually just gets a record based on a single field name and value but sometimes we wanna look up a record by multiple parameters. So to do that, we would actually use, um, we would actually use our query all records function. And a couple important points here, we'd first change the output type, the return from list to single. And so this would change the response to a single object. So it acts just like a get record. And then in the by custom query, we could add uh, as many field lookups as we want. We could say user ID, username, we could just keep going, um, user email, et cetera, et cetera. So then you can look up a record based on multiple fields. Uh, so that's it for the get record function. Uh, remember that query all records tip if you need to look up by multiple parameters, um, but obviously a pretty straightforward uh, function, but used quite a bit.